Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homeowner Series. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here at the house. I just finished washing both the Porsche GT3 and the Audi R8. I brought them back in the garage and got them all dried off. Now after a few projects today, I definitely want to give the F-250 and the Range Raptor wash as well. This doesn't look too dirty, but it is covered in lots and lots of dust. And I hope everyone's having a great 4th of July to all of those who are American. Now one project I did also complete a little bit earlier today was adding this three point to the back of the deer. This will allow us here to move a few things around including the utility trailer back here uh, since I really do kind of want to find a different spot to store this as well. And while I was washing the cars, I did receive a phone call that our Honda three-wheeler is uh, completely up and running with that brand new engine. But first off, we'll be hopping here in this deer because there is actually something that just arrived at the edge of our driveway that we do need to go pick up. So let's take this uh, 1025R along with uh, the trailer and pick it up. Now about 3-4 days ago I ordered a 50 gallon diesel tank from a gas company and they just dropped it off I think this morning I, I must have been running around inside because I, I actually did not notice the uh, truck comment and I, I kind of almost forgot about it as well so we'll get attached here. I do want to raise up that bucket just a little and we'll go around front. Now this is a bit funny, I will have to say, using the small tractor here to pull a big kind of a trailer that's meant to be out on the road, but it's a great utility tractor for the house. If you do enjoy today's content, please leave a like, it's much appreciated as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And there it is, wow, that thing looks awesome, whoa, that looks to be a pretty new one. I decided, why don't we just buy a new tank, it was only about a hundred more to buy as well. And I think total, uh, the tank was, I think it was three, four hundred dollars, so it was pretty cheap in my opinion. Wow, this looks nice. Now it does already have a pump, wow, that is awesome as well, battery powered, uh, which is great. So I think we'll just kind of muscle. Uh, we are strong, I've been working out in the gym quite a lot lately, and we should be able to, oh yeah, just muscling it right up and on to the ramp. I'm definitely excited to be back here with the Homeowner Series, it's a great series, and we have a lot of things up planned coming up as well. Now once we get all this situated, I do want to go and uh, get our Honda back, and we'll have some fun, it's the 4th of July, I don't think there's a fireworks show this year in town, hopefully uh, there's something cool, maybe a few neighbors are lighting off a few fireworks, maybe, we might just have to go buy a, a few thousand dollars worth of fireworks to have some fun this year, but I, I think they're all closed today, so we'll have to find something to uh, kind of celebrate uh, the good old 4th of July. And let's kind of get this muscled off here and put into position. It's a bit heavy. Whoa! Uh, slides right off here. Now, one thing I actually was thinking, why don't we just keep it here up on the pallet? That way, uh, the pallet might rot on the ground. But once that happens, I think that uh, have, this tank will be a few years down the road as well. So let's keep it on it. That way we can move it. And come on, uh, my hands are slipping just a little as I'm just trying to move it. But there we go. Uh, wow, we'll just keep it there. Awesome. Now what I'm thinking here, whoa, this is just so funny. It's almost kind of uh, a size and a half of the uh, 1025R. I want to squeeze the trailer in here. This might be a uh, tight fit. Let's definitely give this a try though and see what happens. We'll put the ramp up there and uh, we'll see if it fits. Now we'll definitely be inviting some friends over later today having a nice barbecue cookout as well. I think that's probably the only thing we could really be doing uh, this year during the 4th of July. But let me know down below in the comments guys what are you doing? And I just hope everyone has a fantastic day as well and we'll squeeze it in. Wow, that's one tight fit. And I think we'll just kind of move the uh, 1025R inside and it, I don't think uh, we'll have a problem but the new dirt bike that we've been using uh, the kids have really really been liking. Awesome, so I'm thinking why don't we go ahead uh, to the uh, dealership with our F-250, that way we could slide it up. Now one thing I will have to say guys, over the last 3-4 weeks I've been constantly looking online for Toy Hauler and uh, on the phone he did say that he had one, that kind of was what I was looking for, so maybe, maybe uh, we might come home with one, I'm not sure, we'll have to see price wise and if it's exactly what we want, and let's get the uh, big old 7.3 backed out. 
out of the garage. Now, I will have to say, I haven't really been driving this truck as much. I've been getting 9 miles per gallon. It's a big, big gas guzzler, but it's a big old V8, and I'm well uh, worth uh, that gas mileage for a truck like this. I've really been enjoying all the videos here on the channel. It's been a lot of fun lately, and I definitely want to uh, just kind of continue doing these. Now, there will be some multiplayer videos coming up within the next uh, week or two, and I'm very close to revealing the big surprise that I've been working on for the last few months, and I can't wait for that. So I think what we'll first do, we'll take a look at it, kind of fill it out. I actually don't know how much it will be. Hopefully, it does not break uh, the bank because it is uh, 30, 40 years old. And there's a toy hauler. Wow. Uh, we might just have to come home with that. Uh, but let's pull in for now and see. Uh, the, and it's right out front for us. That's awesome. Here it is, boys, our Honda with a brand new engine, like brand new, if you would say mecha uh, mechanically, and maybe a few cosmetic things to uh, kind of get it all fixed up. I, I will head in there and get a price from him and just see what it is, but I definitely want to be ripping this all over the backyard today and just have some fun. So let's go uh, do the paperwork, and then I do want to kind of uh, make sure everything works, and then once this is loaded up on the truck, we'll look at that. Wow, that was a lot of money we just spent here to get the new engine. Uh, with the new engine, with the parts and the labor, we just spent 900 I think $60 was the bill. I got the key to the Honda, definitely worth uh, a few extra thousand dollars now. Let's hop on this, let's just drive it around. He has a little bit of area here, it's a little tight, we can't really rip it too hard, but we'll just have some fun. But let me know down below in the comments guys if you have a dirt bike, a quad, anything like that. And uh, yeah, this definitely feels nice. Nice. can already see that the RPM and the engine's running at a pretty good uh, pace there. So let's get it loaded up here on the truck. And I did tell him, I said I might be walking back into the office here with an offer. So let's uh, get the ramps down and get it loaded up. All right, we should be good to go here for us now. I remember the last time we tried to put it here on a truck. We had to use quite a lot of muscle and push it on, but now with a brand new motor, it goes up like nothing, which is awesome. And I can't wait to just have some fun here. And, and uh, I think we might bring it over to the ranch, maybe some uh, dirt uh, trails around us as well. The Honda is all strapped down here and the truck's ready to go, but before we leave, we can't uh, leave without taking a look here at the toy hauler. It looks to be a North Point. Uh, it looks to be a tri-axle here. Whoa, upgraded wheels. Those were actually one of the options I did want on it, and it does have a few slide outs here. So it has a one humongous one on this side here, and it's a toy hauler, and this back does open up here. Now let's see what the sticker is. Wow, guys, $67,000. So I think, uh, let's uh, just got, kind of take a full walk around. So what I'm thinking is I will offer him 60 and let's see what we can do for negotiations. You always want to offer a little bit lower than what you're really willing to pay and see what happens. But wow, this is a little bit too big to keep at our house. We'll have to store this at the ranch if we could pick it up. But let me go see if I could work a deal. Well, after about an hour of paperwork and a little bit of negotiation, this toy hauler is ours. $62,000 was the official one. Now, I did finance it. I only put about 10% down. I don't want to be paying cash for something this expensive since it will be depreciating quite a bit. But let's hop here in the uh, Tremor. Now, I have a feeling this truck's going to be squatting quite a bit. Uh, there's going to be weight from the... Uh, Honda in the back, but also this is a pretty heavy one. On paper, it shows it's a seven, eight thousand pounds uh, loaded, and it does have all the furniture, everything in it as well. So let's get uh, this attached here. We'll put the jack up there, perfect. We got the wires, safety chains, and uh, let's get it folded up. And we'll put the slide outs in. Really do like that. Wow, uh, that truck looks uh, nice with the uh, toy hauler here on back. Now, from what I'm looking at, you guys can actually see there is just a little bit of uh, sitting uh, low uh, swat. Uh, squatting uh, in the uh, back of this truck. This is a pretty heavy one. Oh yeah, we will have to take it slow here. Now this won't even fit in our driveway. We are just going to have to make uh, makeshift lawn on uh, our lawn. 
Now, if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel the weight here on the truck. We'll have to be a bit careful as we are driving. Now, I think we just need to buy the uh, fancy uh, tow hitch is what I will call it. The weight distribution hitch that takes a little bit of the weight off the tongue and puts it on uh, the back of our uh, axle. So I think that's probably what we have to do. And I think those are two, $300. Usually uh, when you buy a toy hauler like this, that's the initial purchase. But it's just a lot of money that we'll be spending. We'll get the hazards going here, and we'll get it backed in. Wow, uh, this backs in no problem. Right about there seems good. Awesome, so there we go. We got the brand new toy hauler here. Very expensive day here for $62,000 in uh, pretty much a $1,000 engine uh, replacement was with this old Honda here. Now, it looks like I might have to rebuy uh, this truck here because of that gravity uh, kind of glitch that I have noticed here. But let's put uh, the tailgate down here and put the ramp down and let's get to having some fun. We'll rip this around and then I want to go for a swim. I'm pretty much covered in sweat even though I had the AC cranked on in the uh, truck and everything. And I hope everyone's been just having an overall great summer. I've been doing a ton of projects around the house. Actually, I've uh, put together my brand new desk setup, and I will have that video coming out tomorrow. I hope all of you guys are excited for that as well. But this uh, three-wheeler Honda is so, so cool. Uh, almost got a little bit of air there. Now, I will have to say, this area right here uh, looks so, so nice. A few of our neighbors uh, did come over and just uh, have uh, uh, taken a few pictures of it. But once again, guys, happy 4th of July for all of you i do recommend you check out the video i did yesterday doing the fireworks show camping at the lake in gta 5 but whoa this old honda is new to us now and this thing is pretty fast now i did go with a little bit of a bigger engine we always have to you always get to get something bigger and faster but let's get a running head start and jump into the pool i hope you guys enjoyed today's homeowner series video thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more